Most audio mixers, whether they have a couple of microphone inputs and some line level inputs, or a bit larger ones that have multiple microphone and line level inputs, may come with a USB connection that you can connect to a laptop or to a PC and record its output. Most of these USBs are stereo 2 in and 2 out audio stream. And a lot of the times, they simply attach to the main output of the mixer and they also return back to the main bus. This is quite useful if you want to record the whole band while they're playing live to have a listen later on. But this may be a problem if you're trying to use your audio mixer with a simple stereo audio interface to do multiple layers of audio where you record your initial first track and while listening to the first track you want to record your second track. With this type of mixers the second track will also include not only the new audio being recorded but the previous one that you are listening to. Let's say you recorded your guitar and now you want to record your vocals. Track number two will include both the guitar track and the new vocal track. To overcome this, you can go to different and more sophisticated mixers that have multiple audio streams to your PC and back. And here are some examples. But for a budget home studio, this may be some expensive and overkill. Next comes the Soundcraft Notepad series mixers and audio interfaces. Even though Notepad 5 and Notepad 8FX only have two in and two out, a simple stereo in and out, where the Notepad 12FX has four audio streams being sent to the PC and four coming back, a clever driver option allows you to select which input to be sent to the PC, rather than being tagged onto the main outputs. This way, you can have a listen of the audio that's being played back from your first recording and only record the new audio being sent to the PC. So let's have a look how this works with an example using my Soundcraft Notepad 5, the smallest of the series, and Cakewalk by BandLab. I now have Cakewalk by BandLab running, so I'm just going to open up my settings, make sure that I've got Soundcraft USB audio selected as my input and output driver, and look at the driver settings. I have 48 kilohertz sampling rate and my buffer size is 128 samples only because I could go lower but only because I am doing screen capture I don't want to over overdrive my laptop, my poor old laptop. So 2.7 millisecond is what the effective latency is. Click OK. So now I have the Soundcraft USB audio control panel making sure that it is the latest version, which is version 2.0.4. You can compare your driver version to the one I have here. And we're going to look at audio routing. By default, it gets selected the mix left and right. So any audio coming will be the audio that's going out of the main master left and right output. But clicking on the arrow, we can see we have some options. We can select mic input 1 and mono line input 2. We can also select the stereo input 2 and 3 and stereo input 4 and 5 or the main master mix. Just going to leave it at mix left and right to demonstrate how that works. Now in Cakewalk, selecting our inputs, I have a track right there. When we select our inputs, Soundcraft, you've got left, right, and the stereo. It'll always be the same, so you don't really have to worry too much, even though we've got multiple choices of the different inputs, but as far as Cakewalk is concerned, it's still the same USB audio. So if you want to record the main master output, we can select the stereo. And let me grab the microphone that has been connected to the mixer. Enable recording. As you can see, I have stereo left and right coming through. And this is the main mix. So let's record and try it out.
This is a recording of the main left and right signal on to track one. So let's add another track. Again, let's select this stereo and we create. Now we have a second track. Disable and I want to record the second track. You can see we've got signal coming through. So while listening to track one, I want to record track two. And let's find out what the result would be. This is a recording. And this is my second left uh, and the recording. Right signal on to track one. And this is track two. So let's mute track one and have a listen to track two. This is a recording and this is my second left uh, and the recording right signal on to track one and this is track two. So as you can see, our track two includes track one as well as the new recording. So now let's select that we want to only stream input the mic one and line two. Just going to mute that one. Create a new one. This time I'm going to select the left one, which is my microphone. So I've got my microphone ready and I can see uh, there is signal coming through. So while listening to track one, I'm going to record track three. This, this is a recording, a recording of, of track the three, left and making right sure that we don't have track, track one included. One. You should already recognize from the waveform that it only recorded mono, because that's what we selected, as well as does not include our track one. So let's have a listen to just track three. This is a recording of track three making sure that we don't have track one included. And there we go. So using our Soundcraft USB audio control panel, we can control what information comes back from the mixer, which channel we want to record, rather than the default mix left and right. Just a quick mention that the Notepad 5 and the 8 effects work similarly, where the 12 effects works slightly differently because it has four audio streams going to your PC and four audio streams coming back. And audio streams one and two are permanently set for inputs uh, microphone one and two, and you are able to select three in four to whichever channel that you select, like you've seen here in this example. And the audio streams coming back, uh, one and two, are assigned to one of the faders, channels 11 and 12, and the other two channels are able to be selected of the headphone output. The, the second headphone output, which is on there, there is a button where you can select whether to listen to the main uh, bus or the USB return. This way you can have two different audio streams coming back into the mixer. But since I don't have the 12 effects, I can't dodge too far into it. And hopefully in future video, if I do get the 12 effects, I'll be able to explain that in more detail. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.